I'm a clearance diver in the Navy. It's a fairly broad spectrum of jobs we get to do. We've been up to Exmouth after the cyclone went through, helped clean up a lot of debris around the wharves. We do a lot of beach reconnaissance so landing crafts and troops can get ashore, which is what we did in Timor. Our divers go in and survey the beach before the landing craft comes in. You know, searching the sea bottom for things like tree roots that can rip up the bottom of landing craft or mines that can damage a ship. With mines, we mark them where they are, then decide how to dispose of them or get around them, and that's part of our job. In Timor, our job was to go around and find areas of the beach that we could put landing craft on, somewhere with road access. We did a couple of nighttime reconnaissance where our guys wanted to get trips and landing craft on the beach without the militia noticing, but most of the work was done during the day with non-government organisations so they could get landing craft in for food drops, first aid, stuff like that. But the night I guess I remember is when we were on success down at the Kusi at the Enclave. We had a pretty small window of opportunity to get the beach clear and be out of the way before the landing craft started coming in that morning. It was about 1am and pretty dark. We could hear gunfire from the town, unlike Dilly, which at that point had calmed right down, and there was still a fair bit of action going on, and we could hear it as we were swimming in. We were part of the way through the survey with our divers mapping out the bottom when a vehicle started heading down in our direction. Lieutenant Commander Debman and myself were on the surface in the shallows checking out the beach area to work out ways to get the vehicles off. I guess at this point we had startled rabbit looks on our faces. We didn't know if we'd been seen or not, but we had no choice. We were there for the protection of the divers and the reconnaissance, so we just had to sit it out and hope we couldn't be seen in the water. The vehicle came further down and stopped for a while with their light shining right in our direction, and we'll never know what they were doing or what they were looking for. When I got the commendation for gallantry for that night, it didn't really sink in. I got this letter from Canberra and opened it, read it through and thought, what's this about? Then I sat down and read it again and thought, oh, it still amazes me at times, but it's good. It's good recognition. Like I say, I get to wear the commendation, but it was recognition for what everyone did that night. Even the guys sitting in a boat all night waiting to come and pick us up when it was all over, and the guys who were diving doing the survey. It was a team effort. Everyone wants to go away and do their jobs and actually be in Timor and have the opportunity to do that. Well, it's definitely been my highlight. It's what you do all the hard yards of training for, trips away and exercises for. And to go away and actually do it when it counts is good. In the Navy, there's just that much scope out there for, to do whatever you want to do. But it's up to the individual to get out there and do it. It's what you make of it.